Greetings dear watchers, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to survive your first day on Ark Survival Ascended Scorched Earth. Alright, after you made your character, you're gonna see the spawn screen. I recommend starting in one of the green areas. The first one that is closest to the green obelisk, I think that's the best one. So, after you spawn, you have around 20 minutes to get yourself a starter base before the heat kills you. First thing you need to do after spawning is to collect all the berries, all the bushes and punch all the trees. But be careful when you punch the trees with your fist you lose HP. So give your character a little bit of time to heal and keep collecting berries. Also you need to find a stone on ground otherwise you can't progress. While you do this you gain experience and reach level 3. After that unlock stone hatchet, spear, cloth pants, cloth shirt, and cloth hat. You're not gonna have any more points available. Alright, after you unlock them, you need to craft a stone pig, cloth pants, cloth shirt, and cloth hat. Now, don't punch trees, use your stone pick. This will give you a lot of touch and also cactus sap, which cactus sap is very important for your survival because those will give you food and water, which we're gonna need a lot of water very soon because time is passing and we are getting close to noon. And when we are there, the weather is gonna get hot, very hot. You also need to mine some rocks to get yourself flint. After that, craft yourself a hatchet so you can get more wood from trees. You need to do this up until you are level 6. You need to unlock thatch foundation, thatch ceiling, thatch wall and thatch window. Build yourself a thatch pillbox immediately so you can rest in there, gain your stamina without heating up all the time. Now you need to find a gerbo or rice throw to get your first height. You might end up with a dead dino and just get the height for free but that's that happens very rarely. Make sure to harvest the creature you killed with your hatchet to get more height. After you have 15 height and 65 stone, craft a mortar and pestle immediately. And then your next target will be to craft yourself a simple bed. I don't recommend crafting a sleeping bag because it's just 15 height difference. Once you get your simple bed in your thatch box, you are pretty much did half of the work. Then you need to craft clay, which that's just sand and cactus sap. The sand is harvested from rocks and cactus sap is these cactus trees. You can use hatchet for both. The pickaxe will also yield some but hatchet is better. When you reach level 9, craft yourself few bolas because that's the only way you can survive a raptor attack. You can bola the raptor and run away. You will most likely can't kill it if it's a high level. If it's low, you can try to kill it but you don't have much time. I think you just have only 30 seconds. And at the level 10, you're gonna unlock bow and stone arrow then do not unlock any of the wooden stuff you can't survive in wood on scorched earth at level 12 make sure to unlock the wooden shield because that shield has 350 durability and that's gonna help you a lot if you get attacked Once you reach level 15, unlock the adobe structures. Now you're gonna spend all your time upgrading your pillbox to adobe. Because inside an adobe, you're gonna be safe from the heat. You also have a bed, so if the super heat happens in this time and you are in one of the areas that gets too hot, you can just respawn. After that is done, you need to focus on going up in the sky which that will happen with a Lymentria. Lymentria is also the main source of silk in this game. You might came across these purple flowers. They also yield silk, but you need a metal sickle to harvest these. And at early game, that's pretty difficult. So now we have a wooden shield, we have bow, we have arrows, we have full cloth armor. At first, we didn't unlock the cloth gloves and boots because they require hide. But after you start getting hide, you can unlock these and craft yourself the missing pieces of your armor cloth is always good it's giving you cold and heat resist also giving you some armor make sure to complete your set so when you locate a limentria use the bolas you crafted one bola is enough to build a trap around it this is a trap design i came up with pretty simple use the bola place your foundation as close as possible but make sure to place the foundation as high as possible you can do that with your mouse going back and forth it will go up and down go as up as possible and then place a C 
ceiling on top of the Lymentria. This trap sometimes actually works, but I do recommend turning this into a pillbox because sometimes the Lymentria glitches through the ceiling and you don't want to waste another ball on this build a pillbox but make sure the walls are windows so you can shoot it you need around 40 trank arrows to knock out a level 150 lymentria make sure to use your bow as strong as possible and then fire your shot also you can use this new item that we get with scorched dirt which that is the boomerang it does give torpor and it's pretty reliable also super cheap so if you don't want to waste your trank arrows you can just use this but it does a lot of damage so you're gonna have to wait between boomerang shots and you're gonna tame it with measure berries after the lymentria is tamed make sure to put that on top of your base and keep it safe because right now we are just level 15 and we need to be level 36 to be able to fly this thing you can keep collecting stuff and keep getting more experience up until you reach level 36 to craft a lymentria saddle you can pick up an explorer node you can kill creatures you can craft things you can harvest things you can do whatever you like in this game and if you end up getting killed you can just respawn in your base you're gonna need 95 chitin to craft yourself a lymentria saddle which that's not gonna be easy you need to hunt and kill every single jug bug you see and harvest it with the hatchet to get the most amount of chitin as you can get after that is done and you crafted yourself a lymentria saddle strap on that get your most valuable and start flying but before you start your migration i would recommend getting yourself a gerbo because gerbos can tell you the next weather event that is coming in a few minutes you might want to have to spend some time trying to memorize all the warnings the gerbo gives i have been playing on this map quite a while i still can't really tell i have learned that a couple of times but i keep forgetting and mixing them up because they sound so similar so i can recommend you that just assume the worst if you are away from the base and you are flying assume that the next event is gonna be the sandstorm and just go back to your base if you have some medical brews, you can survive the superheat, but the sandstorm will lock you and force you to land. And if you land in a bad spot, that certainly means getting killed. So get your gerbo on your shoulders. Before you fly away to a better spot, you need to get yourself a desert gear. It's just at level 28, so we're already over that. But the problem is it requires a simity, and simity requires a metal ingot. So hop on your Lymantria and go find some metal. 10 raw metal should be enough to get yourself a simity. And in that, you can craft yourself a four pieces of desert cloth armor it's quite effective against the heat if you can get more metal definitely craft yourself a crossbow metal pickaxe metal hatchet and of course metal sickle after all that is done now it's time to fly away but you might be asking where should i go superheat on scorched dirt can get certain areas up to 80 degrees so whatever you wear and wherever you stay of course at the early game superheat 80 degrees will definitely kill you there is no way to survive that even with adobe base even with tent even with desert gear it is just a certain death unless you build your base in one of these blue areas as you can see there are some oases and some rivers on scorched dirt and those areas areas doesn't get hot even on super heat that can reach to levels of murdering your entire hp so you can build your base near all three obelisks or you need to go near these river areas so pick a spot that's near this water when you go there the name of the place will change and the weather will cool i recommend going high up in this area because this was my base spot in my playthrough in this area the weather doesn't get too hot we have metal obsidian and crystal nearby and the most important thing and the most important thing is we have argentavises after you get yourself a lymentria your target is to get yourself an arch i'm gonna recommend using my rg trap which it is just five pillars and two walls
Use the Lymantria to trap your Argentavis and then knock it out. If you can get Prime Meat, that would be so much better for your RG, but I don't think you can do that early game. Only way to get Prime Meat early game is to find a juvenile creature and harvest it for its meat. At this stage of this game, this is your only way to get Prime Meat because the Lymantria can't attack, you don't have weapons, you don't have good armor. So just go for a little Gerbo, a little Lystro and harvest it and use that prime meat for your RG. If you can't, raw meat is perfectly fine. After your RG is tamed, you will also need 150 chitin or keratin. You're gonna go back to using your Lymantria and Argentavis to hunt some jug bugs. You can whistle around your Argentavis to attack things. The RG is quite powerful, even though you can't ride it, you should be able to use it to fight other creatures. But the Argentavis saddle is level 62, and that's gonna take you a long time to get there on official rates so i recommend looking around for runes that contains xp notes you can fly around or you can run around since you can respawn in this game you can just respawn on random parts of this map and just run around looking for xp notes if you find that little bit absurd you can stay in your base and keep crafting things you should have a metal sickle at this point you can gather quite a lot of fiber with this and just craft cloth hats which they give decent experience you can craft crop plots you can craft structures all that stuff is pretty nice also you can use mortar and pestle and craft clay you're gonna need a lot of clay to build a proper size base so i recommend collecting a lot of sand and cactus sap and then turn them into clay after you have done this enough get yourself an argentavis saddle and hop on your rg go get yourself an ankylosaurus and then dodicarus and now you are pretty much set you have your starter base you you have your starter farming dinos and the rest is just enjoying the game get more levels get better collect stuff go for the drops and you are pretty much set what you need to do next is to focus on the boss fights this video was just about surviving your first few days on scorched earth but i can tell you a few things about the boss fights there is three artifact caves and using a megatarium or a tyla is really good in them also to kill the boss mantic you can easily kill that with rexes and near the destroyer cave the church cave there's a spot where so many rexes will spawn and this is the coordinates on the map you can find many rexes in this spot but this is scorched earth and we're gonna need a wyvern right getting your first wyvern egg is always super challenging and there are many ways to get your first egg But I think the best way is to just set up a pillbox with turrets and just kill all the wyverns but it is quite expensive. I might make another video about how to get your first wyvern egg and go through all the methods if it's needed but I think there is already enough material out there. But if I see any comments about that I will consider making that video. It will probably be uh, quite a long video so I shouldn't make this video too long. Alright thank you for watching this watchers and i'll see you on the next one